Hi, Ken Boyer from Garage Gurus Heavy Duty. Today we're going to demonstrate the installation of a hub mounted seal. Now I've got a 38 series seal here and the first thing I want to do is to make sure it's the correct seal by placing it over the spindle. So I will come over and apply it onto the spindle and it does fit so I know I have the right seal. The next thing I want to do is to remove my current old seal So I'll pull it out of the hub and we'll discard the seal. We don't need it obviously anymore. So I'm going to wipe the hub clean, the seal bore. I'm going to wipe the, the bearing race down clean and I'm going to make sure that there's no damage to any part of the, of the seal bore or the race. Now the other thing that you need to make sure to do here is to clean this hub out real good. You need to take some brake clean, some shop air, some clean solvent and clean this hub out thoroughly before you rebuild it. Otherwise, you're just going to introduce old dirt into your new uh, into your new bearings. So you just want to make sure everything's clean and everything's in good shape. Now, I've previously uh, lubricated the bearing, so it's been well lubricated and ready to install. So I'm going to go ahead and place the new bearing into the race. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and install the seal. But before I do that, I want to talk about the tool. Now I've got the tool setting here on a rag. You want to make sure that this tool stays clean all the time. You don't want to take any dirt off the floor if you've got it set and face down. And then you end up putting all that dirt into your clean hub. So make sure it's clean. Wipe it down if you have any uh, suspicion of it. And then um, you'll be ready to install. The first thing I want to point out though is on the tool itself, the seal number is on the tool. So you want to make sure that you have the right tool involved. You want to make sure that the pilot is tight. So you'll take a wrench and tighten it down. This one's tight. So we're good. The other thing I want to show is the, the box itself. On the box, it tells you what tool is, is uh, supposed to be used to install this seal. Also on the seal, I'll point it out real quick, it says oil side. So we want to make sure that we're installing the seal straight down facing the hub. So the next thing I want to do is install the seal onto the tool. Now I want to go ahead and take a little bit of oil and lubricate the outside diameter of the seal. And it just takes a little bit. And then just go ahead and place the pilot down through the bearing, get the seal in place. I'm going to put my safety glasses on. Now you want a three to five pound hammer. You're going to hear the tone change as the seal is installed and, and it seats. You'll hear the tone change. Right there, those last two hits, I heard it change. The tool bounced a little bit, so I know I'm all the way in. Go ahead and remove the installer. Now I want to take a look at the seal and make sure that it's even all the way around the hub. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be flush, depends on the design of the hub, but at least that it's even all the way around. This one looks real good. I want to be able to make sure I can spin the seal so it's moving. I want to be able to spin the bearing. It's moving so everything looks real good. One of the last things that you need to do though is to make sure that you wipe down the oil that you have around the outside of the seal because if you leave that oil there during an inspection that's going to look like a seal failure and you're going to get uh, the driver will get um, will get uh, pulled out of service for a seal leak so clean it up real well because obviously it's not a not an old leak and this concludes the installation of our hub seal thanks for watching and for more heavy duty tech tips like this please subscribe to our youtube channel